good morning to you trust you are well today I'm going to give you a very quick bite-sized word about the right time or right now whatever you can call it whatever you want but God always has a right time to do something and I I believe one of the one of the benefits of being a prophetic person is that God shows you what he wants to do up ahead but one of the drawbacks is that we're always focusing on the up ahead instead of the right now. And I believe right now God is preparing us for revival. He's preparing us. No matter what's happening around in your life, in your church, in your country, in your, you know, in your city, whatever's going on in your circumstances, God is busy behind the scenes preparing us for revival. So I'm going to read something out of the beautiful warrior uh, it says you know the greatest key to fulfillment is to invite God into your normal everyday life and to be content instead of waiting for the future to happen in the present it's in the present during the journey that the maturity the flexibility and the capacity to contain all that God is going to give and do is being built Yes, there are greater days, great harvest, and unexpected encounters still to come. But live in the moment, making God and His will your passion. The in-between days, the days you feel forgotten, days that seem mundane and sometimes difficult to understand, are the days that you need to learn to ask of God and to pick up the tools you already have at your disposal. This is the time. To be fully persuaded of the love of God that pursues you relentlessly. And I've got a little thing here. Uh, what I did with this book, I loved it, is I got both of my kids to write something by hand or to draw a little picture. And I put them all in this book. And this is something Kelly wrote. Every day we are all learning about the leap of faith. And so... What I would like to say to you today is maybe you're listening to me and you feel, but I've been waiting for so long. Um, this breakthrough people have promised and have spoken about, it just, it's, I see it far away. It's so far away, I can't even see it beyond the horizon anymore. And so I would, I'd like to encourage you. There's, there were so many people in the Bible who would have probably found themselves in the same situation. Think of Esther. Being prepared for something as a young girl, prepared to go and be presented to the king in case he liked her. But God had a purpose for her. There was favor all over her to fulfill a purpose to save the nation of Israel from being exterminated. There was, there was Gideon who was in a place where he had heard about all the miracles. His father, because it came out of his mouth, his father had told him about all the miracles and then when the angel of the Lord appeared in a time where God wanted to use Gideon as a deliverer, um, he said, where are all the miracles our fathers told us about? And so maybe you are in this place where you're feeling, I don't know if, if I need to trust anymore or if anything is going to happen. I'd like to say to you, right now we are being prepared for something greater than we have ever seen. And you are part of that great company that God has chosen this generation to see revival. So what we need to do is to have a right attitude towards our right now, um, to have a, uh, an expectation to see God's involvement in the right now. It might not be revival right now. It might not be your breakthrough, your healing right now. But when we have this attitude of expectation that God is still involved, we might not see the outworking on the outside, but he's still involved. And he's given you dreams. He's given you a vision that, that hasn't taken shape yet. So instead of living continually in this, it's going to happen one day. Live in the right now. And I, I, can, I can tell you, I've done this before, when we say, okay, God, I still have my eyes fixed on the harvest and revival, but right now is, is the place you want to speak into. And I've noticed something about God is that when things are hopeless in the natural, when things seem um, impossible in the natural, he loves, he takes great delight in getting involved in those areas. And so right from the beginning of the, of the Bible, um, it says in Genesis 1, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. There was no shape. And darkness was on the face of the deep. No shape and darkness. Nothing had taken shape yet. 
and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters, then God said, let there be light, and there was light. And so even in the midst of your situation, as you look at it in the natural, there's no shape to it, there's no place for it to be, you, don't, you feel as if everything is just out of alignment with what God has said, the Spirit of God is hovering over that place in your life that you are so unsure about. And all God needs you to do is say, okay, God, I'm going to focus on the right now. I'm trusting you. And he will speak into that area. He'll speak into how you are feeling. And he will encourage you that where there is darkness, where there feels, it feels as if it's turmoil, let him speak order into that, into that area. And, and trust will come and expectation comes again. So be encouraged today that God has not forgotten about you just because you feel shapeless. You feel as if you have no shape at all yourself. And uh, you're just a blob waiting for your one day where right now is the day to get your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith, and begin to trust again and arise and shine and see his glory move on, your, on and in your life. Be encouraged with that today.